nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright guys, what is up? Welcome to my video. Today's video is going to cover the topic of testosterone, which is the male hormone produced in the body. With health and fitness and bodybuilding, testosterone is brought up a lot, especially you know with the likes of TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy. Natural bodybuilding, are you really natural? Are you taking testosterone? Blah, blah, blah. It's a huge topic in the industry, and today's video, I'm not gonna bash anyone, I'm not gonna bash anything. All I'm gonna do is provide you with numbers so that you can then, you know, if you're wondering if you have low T or if you have high T or what your situation is, you can go and get tested, take these numbers and, um, and see. So low testosterone can, you know, it, it mainly occurs in older men as they get older, probably 40, 50 and above. Apparently your natural testosterone level will peak around about the age of 20, maybe 25, and slowly, slowly taper off and go down from there. So when you're talking about low testosterone, the reason I'm actually making this video is because I'm about to go to the doctors now and get my testosterone checked. Um, not because I have any particular uh, symptoms or any particular bad symptoms, although I do suffer from a few of the things that you may suffer from with low testosterone. I just want to know for my own you know, for my own benefit, I want to know what my number is, so then I can, you know, possibly get it get it checked in another five years and see if it's gone down or not. So that's what I'm going to do straight after making this video. But for now, I'm going to run through some some signs and symptoms of low testosterone, and then also the numbers that I've been able to find on the internet. Um, there's two different ways of measuring your testosterone. There's two different values. Um, there's nanomoles per litre and there's nanograms per deciliter. So there's two different number values. I'm going to go through both of those. But first of all, symptoms of low testosterone can include a change in sleep patterns, reduced sex drive, so reduced libido, sexual dysfunction, um, you know, not able to hold an erection for long or not, a, not able to get one at all. And if that was happening to a young man, I'd be worried personally. Um, infertility, you know, low testosterone, obviously in older men, they become infertile. Emotional changes, so that, you know, that is, if your mood is unstable, you know, if you're feeling depressed sometimes, um, that can be a symptom of low testosterone. Because obviously, you know, testosterone is your vitality. It's, as a man, it, 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 it's what makes us men. As well as emotional changes, you've got decreased strength and weight gain. So, with guys in older age, as their testosterone drops, their, their muscle mass slowly tapers off. Um, if they don't use it, they lose it especially when you're, when you're an older man with lower testosterone. And weight gain occurs with older men as well. So those would be the symptoms of low testosterone. If you've got any of those, it doesn't necessarily mean you've got low test, obviously. Um, of those, you know, the only one I would say I, I experience would be the emotional changes. So, you know, my mood can be, can be a little bit temperamental from time to time. But as far as the other ones, I don't believe I suffer from any of them. Alright guys, so that's the symptoms. Now we're going to talk about, you know, the numbers, okay, the concrete numbers, what's the normal range, what's low, um, etc, etc. So, first of all, I got a little bit confused because I'm here in Australia, I'm looking at values that we get told here, and they are in nanomoles per litre, okay, the, the range that you get told, you know, over in America, it seems, is in, it's usually in nanograms per deciliter. So, if you're talking nanomoles per litre, it's a much lesser value. If you're talking nanograms per deciliter, it's a much higher value. So if we're talking normal range here for both of those values, um, a normal range in nanograms per deciliter is from 270 to 1070. If I convert that back into nanomoles per litre, that's 9.4 nanomoles per litre to 37.1. So the normal range is from 270 to 1070 and from 9.4 to 37.1. Now, if we're talking about low testosterone, we're gonna talk about, because I'm in Australia, it's gonna be easier for me to talk in nanomoles per liter. So as I said, the normal range is from 9.4 to 37.1. If you come in from zero to eight, that's, that's considered extremely low, 
Um, and TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy, would most likely be recommended. In fact, it would be recommended. Um, if you want to regain vitality in your life, if you've got a, a testosterone level from 0 to 8, you're most probably going to be suffering from most of those symptoms. And you know, if you're an older man and you've got no chance of bringing your natural testosterone back on, back online, uh, you know, TRT would probably be, be the way to go to, to get that quality of life back. Now, that's from 0 to 8. From 8 to 12, you actually start getting into the normal range. And, you know, it's still low, but TRT wouldn't, you know, 100% be recommended, but it would be talked about with you, and, you know, it may be recommended. So that's from 8 to 12. Now remember, the normal range is from 9.4 to 37. So then you've got that 0 to 8, 8 to 12, then you've got 12 to 15, which brings you up, you know, more so into the normal range. From 12 to 15, you know, it's low, but a substitute, a, a testosterone replacement therapy would would not be recommended in that in that instance. You know, if you really wanted to push the issue further, and you had all of those symptoms, you may be able to get a prescription of TRT uh, with uh, with a level between 12 to 15, but it's it's not likely. And obviously, from 15 and above, 15 to 37 is absolutely sweet. I think anywhere in there, you'd be fine, and you got nothing to worry about. So those are the numbers. As I said before, right now I'm going to head down to the doctor. I'm going to go and get my a full blood test, you know, liver function, iron, iron, uh, iron levels. I'm going to get testosterone checked, my thyroid checked. I'm going to get everything checked, and I think, I think it's really important to do that. Personally, being in, you know, being in the natural bodybuilding, health and fitness sort of uh, lifestyle and industry right now, I want to know what my number is. I really do. So, like I said. Today's value is going to be measured in nanomoles per litre. I'm looking for a range from 9.4 up to 37.1. You know, who knows what it's going to be, but it will be interesting. So I hope you guys learned something. Until next time, guys, train hard, even if you've got low T. And there are options out there to help you. But just realise that once you start something like testosterone replacement therapy, that's a lifelong commitment. And, um, you know... You just got to deal with that. So, peace guys. I'll see you in the next one.